Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Guess who's back, 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 back again, again, again. V is back, back, back. Go tell a friend, friend, friend. Okay, so hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are a new subscriber, welcome, welcome to the family. And if you are an old subscriber, thanks for coming back. Today's video is going to be a honest first review of my first year at university. For those of you who are new to the channel and new to the family, my name is Miss Vaz and I am a first year currently studying classical archaeology and ancient history at the University of Oxford and I thought it'd be nice for me to do a honest, a very brutally honest review of my first year at Oxford and how the video is going to work is I'll talk in terms so I'll say in the first term this is how I felt this was the workload this is what it was like socially academics etc then second term workload social life blah 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 then third term which is all about exams and how the exams have been and how I felt and just yeah everything like that so if you like the sound of that and you want to just know how it was how the whole year was then stay tuned and let's get into the video freshers week freshers week let's speak about so I already knew that I was going to come to Oxford when I was coming to Oxford I didn't have to wait for results day or anything like that I already knew that I had like a firm offer and I was going to come here so my summer was fun I had a great summer I didn't even worry about it like I already knew I found out in June that I was going to be coming back so I already knew that I was going to be coming to Oxford in in October so like I wasn't worried I had a great summer I lived it up and I thought when I come back, Freshers Week will be popping, I'll be going out, I'll be with friends, I'll just be doing the most because it's Freshers Week. Let me tell you something because you don't know nothing. I came for Freshers Week, I, I came ready, I came with Vim. I was ready to, to do up eyelashes, to party, to turn up. <laughs> I, don't, I can't even talk. It. Yes, I, I, I came with full vim, I came with energy, I came with the intention of turning up because I didn't really go clubbing the year before that much so this year I said I'm going to come, I'm going to do Freshers Week properly, I'm going to get involved, I'm going to really like come here and just just do it, you know, just just live it like yeah, Freshers, 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 yeah, oi, oi, oi. I thought that was going to be me. So let me tell you about Freshers Week in Oxford. Let me tell you about Freshers Week in Oxford. I had 2,500 words to produce in Freshers Week. I'll even look into the camera. 2,500 words to produce. Can you just like, I said it's Freshers Week. I'm supposed to be getting to know everyone, I'm supposed to be going out, living my best life and bear in mind I have friends all over, like in unis all over the country right now I will see my friends in Loughborough, Leicester, Northampton, Nottingham, Birmingham, London They were living their best lives, they were doing the most Every day I popped, I put Snapchat, I could see them doing the most And I was in my room and in the library producing 2,500 words. Oxford did me dirty, they did me dirty. Because that's your first essay. You're supposed to have done reading over the holiday. I didn't do the reading. So now you're telling me I've got an essay based on basically, based on the reading in a way. So then I had to read more books during Freshers Week and produce that essay. And my tutors would have expected to see something spectacular because it's like, you've had the summer to like read up on the topic kind of thing. Mm -mm. <laughs> It was horrible like the workload was horrible because no one really knew what they were doing so like you just had to like dive in and start writing this essay and you have no idea how to do it so you're more nervous and you want to make it perfect so then you're reading more and you're studying more but then you also want to make friends and go out but it's impossible because it's like it was for me anyway because I'm a slow worker so for me that was horrible like it was horrible I struggled I struggled to do that essay that first essay will always be the worst essay of my life like it was just the hardest I think the first one is the hardest because 
I'd forgotten how to write that quickly, how to form ideas and arguments in the space of five days and like, yeah, it was really hard. So that wasn't nice, that wasn't nice. Um, but in terms of friends and everything, I was nervous about coming and like, I didn't know who was gonna be in my year or like who I'd, would I like them? Would I like, I didn't know. So when I arrived, I was nervous about that and I thought, will I fit in? Will I get the lingo? Will I get the jokes? Will I just understand? Will I like, will I just get it? Or will I just speak with it? And do you know what? Freshers week, friends wise, not academically, friends wise, best week ever. Best week ever. I made so many friends in Freshers Week. Like, everyone was so lovely. Like, at LMH, I feel like everyone is just so nice. And everyone was so, like, open to making friends. No one came here with, like, a bougie attitude. Like, you can't sit with us. You can't talk to me. No, everyone came with, like, I want to make friends. I'm open to getting to know anyone from any background, any race, any shape, any height, any, I just want to get to know whoever and understand who you are and your journey and that kind of thing and Freshers Week was, it was really nice, like, oh my god, I made so many friends that I just love so much, like, honestly, people, at, oh, they were so nice, they still are so nice and I love that aspect and I went out, I took a chance and I went out, the clubs in Oxford, for me personally, it's not, it's not, for me, for me, it's, I, I, the music, the the vibe, the I just don't like it. I don't like clubbing anyway, but like the Oxford clubs, I, I'm not a fan of. Maybe I've gone to the wrong ones on the wrong nights and like in the wrong mindset because sometimes it's good. Like I like going to um, Park End, I think, yeah, Park End and going to the R&B room in there, that's nice. And the pop floor is nice as well. And I like Cellar. Bridge, I don't like it, but like I'm going to try it again next academic year and give it another try because everyone else here loves this place called bridge and i can't stand it it's just too tight and too packed but i'm gonna try again but yeah i did go clubbing and i did enjoy it in freshers week sort of but the people i went more to socialize than to actually go clubbing so yeah that was nice um and then the rest of the term was okay i had i had two like about two essays a week so each essay is like roughly 2500 words so you're producing roughly 4000 to 5000 words a week and each essay has about 10 books on the reading list so you're supposed to read about 20 books well not read all of them but just like each chapter or something about 20 books a week and then um about 45,000 words a week that was hard like I still haven't adjusted to that that's still that's still difficult for me to do like I do it but it's still difficult because it's a lot and also people were joining societies like I was joining societies I was going to like events and things, I was doing the work, I was also starting YouTube and I was trying to keep on top of that, plus I had my own like life to live in terms of like eat, sleep, breathe, repeat and there just wasn't enough hours in a day to accommodate everything I had to do so I found getting into a routine quite hard in the first term and then the last four weeks, the last three weeks of the first term, I hated it. I I hated my life at Oxford in the last three weeks of the first term and that term is called Michaelmas by the way we have names for each term so that's called Michaelmas that means one well that means the first term Michaelmas term worst the worst like the last three weeks horrible I don't know what happened I just decided that I didn't want to socialize anymore so I stopped going down to dinner and breakfast and lunch I started cooking for myself and like eating in my room I wouldn't go out with anyone the girls would always text me and be like V are you coming are you coming are you coming and I'd be like no I just I just didn't I don't know what happened I think I think I found the workload really hard and I was learning Greek as well which I really hate like I hated learning Greek so I think I was just a bit depressed, not depressed, that's a bit dramatic, but I was just down, I didn't feel, I just didn't feel like I wanted to be here anymore, to be honest, like I really, at that, in those three weeks, I really wanted to quit, like I genuinely wanted to like not be here anymore, it just, it wasn't enjoyable, I don't know why, I just, I wasn't enjoying like the, the, the social events, I wasn't, I just wasn't enjoying it, so I stopped, um, I stopped going downstairs for dinner and food so I stopped and if you stop um 
So if you stop going downstairs, that means you stop seeing people because everyone kind of meets up at meal times and I stopped going to meal times so I wasn't seeing anyone. Sometimes I'd go like a whole day without seeing a person because I would literally go to the kitchen cook I'd literally go to the kitchen cook for myself come back to my room sleep eat work in here or maybe in the library I just I wouldn't speak to people so that was really really hard and I also had like eight lectures to go to I had like a class each week I so like eight lectures one class plus I had to do those two essays plus I had to read all those books plus I had it was like I hated it I really I left here from um Michaelmas term just being like am I really gonna come back like I really had those thoughts it was it was hard so then we went away for five weeks and I had the Christmas vacation at home and like it was just hard because even when it was time for Christmas I still had to like study like I was still revising because I'd have exams what four days after I got back so for me it was just like oh I can't do this the first the first three weeks were great the last like four or whatever were horrible then the Christmas break was horrible because I just kept stressing about oh my god I'm gonna go back and start a new topic but I didn't understand the topic that we just learned it was really hard to adjust for me anyways then the second term came still had the same amount of lectures like I still had about seven or eight to attend each week plus a class um, and then I also still had like one and a half essays a week basically because I'd have one essay that week then have two essays the next week one essay that week two essays the next week one essay that week two essays the next week so it was always like I always just had too much work and like I said each essay was about 2,500 words so it was always like you were always working and when you hand an essay in you get one back you hand one in you get one back like it didn't stop I was just working all the time and I think it took it out of me so then when I came back for that second term I saw that my workload was still the same I've got the essays I've got the lectures I've got the class now I've got this extra piece of work to do plus I'm still trying to do YouTube plus I've got societies plus I'm still trying to eat sleep breathe repeat it became a bit much but I enjoyed the second term. When I came back for the second term, I said, V, you are going to go into this term and you're going to make an effort with the girls again. You're going to go back and you're going to try again because the way that I'd isolated myself in that first in the last three weeks of the first term I was like that's not good like it's not healthy to not see people or to like get involved. So I came back and I'd go to every meal. And you know what? I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed, like, and that's when I really met, like, Malala and Kia properly. Like, I met them in the first term and we hung out and stuff, but it's the second term when things really, like, picked up and we were always together. Every single day I'd see them, every day for every single meal time. And I got closer to them and, like, I had, I now had, like, a close... You know like you have that close circle that you just like always text like should we go to town, should we go eat, should we, Malala and Kia became like those people, like we had a little group chat and I'd always message them, always doing things and they really like changed my experience like Malala and Kia did because I, there was always someone looking for me like they were always knocking on my door always I couldn't I couldn't go into like self-isolation because someone was always looking for me and like I'd banter about it and be like ha 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 at 12 30 the girls are gonna be knocking 12 30 V we're going for lunch it was just so nice to have someone like look for you and like always want to be around you and Josh as well like Josh Josh is always you guys already know that like, Josh is like he's my rock he's my that's my best that's my Josh then, um, so yeah, socially that term was great. Academically, it was still really hard. I was doing Roman core now. So now I had to learn Latin this term and it was just like, I don't like languages. I don't like learning them. Anyway, now we're in this term and I'm still here. My last exam is tomorrow, which is so exciting. So tomorrow is my last exam, which is so great. And then I'll be done for the year. First year is over, finito, complete. But yeah, this term, Wow, this academic term, I have enjoyed. Like, the subject I was learning, I was doing Greek sculpture and Tacit Tacitus and Tiberius. Loved it. Like, this has been my favourite term, and it's supposed to be, like, the hardest term because you've got exams and things, but 
wow i've enjoyed this tub i love greek sculpture like i love greek sculpture so much i've enjoyed this term it's been insane like this term has probably been the most enjoyable term and it, like i said it's really so like you have exams you're supposed to be revising but i really, me and malala and kia have done the most this term like we had plans last term and we're doing things but this term cinema spas dinners lunches we were just everywhere every day we had something going on events like i went to so many events at the student union finally joined the student union ooh, 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 ooh. yeah like i had i went to so many events like it was just this term has been like the best term the best term i made more friends this term has been the best term like i just love lady margaret hall i think it's the people and like yeah i've enjoyed this time a lot i got to see josh a lot more as well because he became a lot freer a bit and it was just nice like i i i loved this term wow and academically like i enjoyed it like i didn't have as many lectures they cut down because of exams so the lectures were kind of finished and i just had to do greek sculpture and still write 2500 words a week but it was fine because i enjoyed it and like I, I really understood whereas the first two terms I just didn't get it like I, I felt so dumb this term I kind of everything started to click and make sense I was like oh that's what I was supposed to be doing I loved it exams have been hard revising so it's been hard to like revise while you're still having classes while you're still like it's been hard to like revise while you're still learning but like it's been fine I've the exams I've had three exams so far and they've been okay like you won't know until results day of course but like for me how I feel having sat them I'm not panicking I'm not stressing out like I've enjoyed sitting the exams because it's like oh I can finally put what I've learned into practice and it's been nice so yeah I'm ready for my last exam tomorrow which is super exciting and yeah that's how the year's been overall I've enjoyed it but the last three weeks of the first term were horrid. The first term, let's just cancel it and call it a horrible term because that's, ugh. But then the last two have been like, fantastic. So yeah, that's my honest first review of my first year at Oxford. And yeah, it's been a fun time, like juggling schoolwork, all the other stuff, like the media stuff that I do, plus the YouTube, plus societies, plus it's been a lot, but like I've really enjoyed it. But yeah, that's my honest first year review of my time at Oxford. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, just give it a little cheeky like. But my biggest thing is please do press subscribe because I really want to touch that 3k. And um, you said thank you so much for watching.